In our last video, we removed our valve springs, measured the install height, and we could then select a new spring. I ended up going with the 924-16 uh, spring from Comp. It's actually the same spring I was running before. Uh, the reason for that with the rates, as you can see, 112 seat pressure, 355 open. Uh, they should work well. In fact, it's recommended for my camshaft. Um, it, mine is the Comp 280H hydraulic flat tappet cam with only 520 uh, lift so it, it's, it's a pretty mild camshaft anyways a um, couple things to go through this is going to get a little nerdy on you but please bear with me it's very important <clears throat> have your springs measured have them tested for actual rate so the first batch of these i got they measured all over the place they measured a little bit low one didn't even have a uh, damper in it so took them back had them re-measured uh, they came out a little more accurately also, one thing to note is make sure you measure with your retainer uh, because, as you can see, there's these little steps in it. But if I can get it to focus, there we go. And that allows for that inner spring to start compressing in the correct rate uh, or the correct time is with the outer spring. So test with your retainers. I actually didn't the first time and the difference was 363 pounds open versus 350. So there's a bit of a difference. Um, my rates, once I have it installed, I should be around 131.5 seat and 310 pounds open. Uh, how I got that, I'll bring up the sheet right now that shows you the math. Um, if you need to, take a screenshot, write it down, whatever. This is important because you need to know how much your actual rate is so you can shim correctly for each one. And as you can see, I'm going to be running a obviously my install height so a 60 thou sh um, locator a 30 thou shim and that's how i got my math so I important to figure it out anyways after the rest of the junk that we got so we know what the springs are uh we are going to of course run our locator as mentioned so 60 thou um, thickness that brings our install height up a bit um retainers of course now these beauties our tool steel. Let's see if we can forget this thing to focus a bit. Jesus. Anyways, tool steel retainers. Um, if you haven't heard of tool steel, they are lighter than um, the obviously the stock ones. In fact, I would say 23, 22 grams or so for for that uh, for these ones, versus maybe 35 grams for those. Uh, that just helps you know valve train stability, get a little more RPM out of it. These are almost as light as titanium, but not nearly as expensive, and they don't wear out as well. So they don't, because the uh, steel is a similar material as the, it's to the spring material, so they're a little more reliable. Anyways, of course we got shims. So this pack comes with the fifteen thou, thirty thou, and sixty thou, so we can run any combination that we need. Our locks, like so, so we can actually put it together. And of course, we have some valve seals. So before we put any of this stuff together, we need to change our valve seals. I went with the Vitron ones. Um, hopefully they hold up. So we'll see. So that's our stuff. Now uh, let's go install this stuff. 